so I was thinking I was going to continue this story because some people wondered how it happened or some people wonder how it ended and obviously it's not ended it basically just started but it's funny actually because I got a reminder on my phone yesterday and it was exactly one year since I landed in Thailand for my apprenticeship ready for Thailand You know the place, that's good. In Thailand, finally! Happy! So yeah, I actually started exactly one year ago. I think I was at the first day at school today, one year ago. So yeah, when I arrived, I was really excited to see if this was going to work because it was quite unconventional i wasn't 100 percent sure if everything was legit and if the guy that wanted to mentor me wanted to actually take me in so i started school and how we started we started on this fake skin and uh yeah i remember the first time i was putting the machine on the fake skin and i was just like i don't know if i will be able to ever do this and uh, after a little bit of practice i started to get into it and i did a couple of tattoos on this silicon i was just practicing every day going to school every day so after traveling and backpacking i felt like i really had experienced phuket and shillong and i've been traveling a lot around so i think it was okay to just put my put 100 percent effort in this craft and getting better yeah i just continued on silicon for a while and i started to do some portraits and a couple of like a little bit more of the realistic work i love realism Wednesday and then it's always a break from school now I'm working again at the Charm and uh, we make our first portrait yeah. it took me about one and a half, two months and then I started on skin and I remember the first time I was about to touch skin, I was shitting myself. Like I was so scared that I would just, I felt like I was torturing him, like putting the needle inside his skin. But it was weird because it came so many people that was just like, yeah, I can take a tattoo, no problem. I can be your first one. You can just fill up my body if you want. Oh, now you do fun now. The first one I did, it was like an old Japanese tattoo, like a koi fish, and I got to retouch the lines. Okay, James, okay. don't die. Don't die. Don't die. But it ended up me doing the whole arm, <laughs> my first session. And since that day, they were really pushing me into stuff. Since I've been doing a lot of stuff on silicone, I've been doing like the realistic stuff and. They think it was really good. So they were allowing me to like do portraits and I didn't know what I was really getting into. So I was like, yeah, sure. Since I could do it on silicon, I can probably do it on skin, but I was really, really wrong. It wasn't the right time to start with such big projects straight away. And uh, I remember I started and it was just, I don't know if I will say a nightmare. Don't start with portrait the first week you start tattooing. No, don't do it. When also it was Thailand, so just the quality of everything is a little bit worse. So the power in the street was turned off when I was doing the tattoo. So I think we were done like 11 in the night or something. And we were not really dumb because he couldn't sit anymore. I was really, really tired as well. So we actually didn't finish the hair of the portrait. Kind of a scandal, but... But it looked like an alien without, without the hair. So we were just letting it be and we said we could freehand the hair later. Yeah, so, so um, I don't know if I should really be telling you this because it's kind of like a catastrophe. But anyway, I was starting with like doing a 
my first sleeve I was supposed to do like a man mandala kind of sleeve and then the girl that was coming into the shop that was supposed to get this mandala sleeve she was like no I want realism and we didn't learn from the first time because I didn't have the perspective like I have now and my apprentice at this was at the shop and not the school so he was like yeah you can do it so we were like printing up this whole like half sleeve of the underarm and he was like yeah you can do it and then I think we started at like 7 o'clock in the night and he was expecting me to do most of the sleeve <laughs> And I remember we were sitting there at 1 in the night and I was sitting there tattooing <laughs> And we weren't even halfway and he was looking at me and he was like, Oda, are you okay? And it was only us in the shop, me, Game, and uh, the girl that was getting the tattoo She was a friend of Game as well And I started to cry <laughs> I was just so tired and I've been working so hard and I'm just working too much in the start and taking too much over me Yeah, we ended up or he ended up taking over for me. No, it was just a mess So I'm not telling you the perfect story <laughs> right now I'm actually telling you that I learned the hard way But it wasn't that like if you see the wrestles later, they look they look okay, <laughs> but yeah, I would don't know if I would have done it again, but at the same time it's almost like I would done it again because I feel like a, my learning curve was so sharp because I just I had to learn when I was put in these situations. So that happened. And after some weeks I did another full sleep, but then this mandala kind of style. And actually she came to me in the shop now here in Norway not too long ago to get a new tattoo, so she was happy about it and she really loves the tattoo still, so... Look at that, we made it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty impressed of myself that I managed to go through that. <laughs> so we did that in two days, the old sleeve. So when it came to the school, it was pretty much a mess, but at the same time I learned extremely much by being thrown out and everything and learning a lot by myself they mostly taught me stuff on the silicone and then I felt a little bit alone when it came to the skin but luckily enough I had the apprenticeship with game as well so he was helping me out and I got a lot out of saying English arm tattoo um, and they were so helpful and was there for me when I needed it <laughs> Eat at the floor at home? Yeah. We're gonna have some lunch. Some Thai food. Kapao. Buy kabao. No kabao. What is this one? I don't know, chicken. I don't know. No, I don't know. I don't know. All in all, it was a really good experience and I learned a lot, but I was definitely not ready to be an artist. <laughs> so this was just the start. Often you were maybe an apprentice for one, two years, it depends. Uh, maybe more, maybe less. But yeah, I started to be ready to go home and I left home and my next focus was to find a shop which I could apprentice, continue my apprenticeship for. I also wanted to focus more on like the hygiene and just be sure that yeah it was as it should be so i basically left home without really knowing what was going to happen but i knew that i wanted to i was open to work in a different place it didn't need to be norway as long as it was an artist i wanted to work under but i said if it's one shop i want to work in in norway and in bergen in my hometown it's leading light So, what happened after there, I will continue on the next video. So, if you want to hear the rest of the story, stay tuned for the next one. She's looking goddamn fine. I wanted a bitch who was down to earth, but she wanted a goddamn sky.